Hello guys, I'm from Androidica again and this will be another video from us and in this video I'll be doing a comparison review between the Cyanogen mod or the CM10.1 ROMs both by Rohan007 of XDA and the Antibiolus of XDA. There have been a lot of requests for this video so I'm making it. So this will be a quick video on the comparisons on what I like on the two ROMs and what I dislike in this ROM. This is the Antibiolus ROM. I have already reviewed the Rohan007 ROM which is the previous video if you can see it on my channel and this will be the video in which I will show you the antibiolus ROM as many people have requested it like so I'll just show you the what things are good in this ROM what are bad in this ROM what's better in this ROM than the Rohan 007 version and what's bad, what's not good or what's Rohan 00 ROM is better at so to get started first thing uh, first I would mention the small things or the things that I don't like in this ROM. The first is the upscaling of this icons is a bit big now so lesser icons fit over here it's okay because in Rohan 007 ROM there had been smaller icons but a lot of wasted spaces so it's okay one one front but it's a bit big and I like the small icons more but it depends upon the user so it's okay the next thing that I would want to tell is that this is a notification bar is a bit wider much more wider than it is needed it's also present in the Rohan 007 ROM but I guess this one is a bit thicker even than the Rohan 007 ROM I don't know exactly but I feel so again it depends on the personal usage and won't matter for some users and will matter for some users the next would be the layout of the notification area as you can see the time is now showing a 6 is 23. Now when there are two digits say 1223 or 1123 or 1023 this button over here tends to shift outside the screen so you will see half this button and half this button will be hidden. Now that's a layout issue that was not present in the Rohan 007 ROM. Again it's pretty small and would not affect much for most users. The last and the biggest flaw in this ROM is the widget placement in the home screen. As you can see the widgets are way too big and they don't resize properly or we can't, you can't place them properly so let's say it's this widget as you can see it's much more taller than required or as you uh, and it would not fit in the screen say you want to place it up at top over there and that will just go up over there so that's a huge flaw I mean you can't place widgets properly in this thing at all you can't resize them properly and they take up a lot of extra space and they don't fit in the screen like let's place a widget okay see and this google search let me take that okay to place it in that home screen there you go now if you place it over here it's just touching the user the status bar or half of it or part of it is hidden actually like so that's pretty bad like this needs a serious change over that and Rohan 007 is better in this aspect next would be again the layout of the home screen because as you can see I have no names below the icons in the home screen that's because they were overlapping the dock as you can see and if I wanted to remove the icons one step up they would go a lot up so let me show you that go to system settings okay that's a bit slow I would just go down over there and let's find launcher home screen hide icon labels so now let's go back to the home screen and see what's happened there you go as you can see the names of the icons have overlapped the dock now let me pull it up a bit up and there you go it goes that much so it's really not desirable and this layout changes must be fixed or else and if this layout changes bugs you or then I hope you'll prefer the Rohan 007 ROM much more than this one now the good sides of this ROM is that uh, the other layouts or the vertical layout is pretty good I like it the images are more crisp over here in this thing 
and the ROM is pretty fast or as comparable to Rohan 007 ROM it's pretty much the same so no change over there okay the next thing would be the, the camera the camera is pretty nice and the color reproduction I think is much better than the Rohan 007 ROM I don't know why it just feels so and the camera is much faster over here opens up faster the video camera the video quality is better and there are no glitches like when the flash or the focus thing there is little delay and I, as far as I remember the Rohan 007 ROM had a much more delay However, the panorama I think still doesn't work over here I didn't try it let's give it a try okay let's see well by the way sorry for the background noises I'm too close to the road okay as you can see the panorama mode does work so that would be a big increment on this ROM because Rohan 007 ROM doesn't allow to have okay couldn't save panorama okay I didn't see that so it's pretty much the same cause the Rohan 007 ROM had the same things or same problem however still the camera is better over here so if you're looking for a better camera you should look for this ROM however only the only thing that's lagging in this ROM would be the the launcher layouts or the layouts on the home screen if that is fixed I will or I will tell that this ROM is better than the Rohan 007 ROM and much more stable than the Rohan 007 ROM however I heard someone on the Androidica I guess the name is Kiran Patel he said that the battery life is better on this ROM or the best than any other ROMs I didn't quite feel it it's pretty much the same the Rohan 007 also provided a same kind of battery life so I personally don't feel that there is an increment in the battery life however there is an increment in the performance or the smoothness of the ROM this ROM is much more smooth so if you are looking for a stable more smoother ROM this is it the battery life is pretty it's okay it's decent it's normal and it's good to go with so there's not much difference in the Rohan 007 ROM and this ROM but I will prefer this ROM thanks for watching peace